going on everybody? Nintendo 91 here. We are sitting over in a blackout basement in Funky's Flight. I was just rocking out to some crazy Funky Flight music right now. So, um, I just got done stocking up on some lives. We've got 10 lives so we can beat this boss and enter the next area. And hopefully survive long enough to make it to the next save point or the next Funky Flight. So, let's pretty much just jump right in here and get on with Boss Dum Drum. Oh, boss Dumb Drum is probably like, for being like the, technically the second to last world boss, he's actually really easy. Um, all he does the whole time is spit out enemies and then you just run back and forth and dodge him. So it's really not that difficult. Now last time he slammed down two times, this time he'll do three times, and then next time he'll do four times. I think it does up to five before it's the last kill. And the enemies that he spits out are fairly easy, he always does two at a time and it's really simple. I don't know what's going like why it's so easy. I used to always think this guy was super hard. I mean, look at you can take him out either way. Pound those guys, roll into them, or jump on them if you have Donkey Kong. If not, it's not that difficult. I think this is the fifth one. The last one are these, yeah, these are the last guys. If you have Donkey Kong, it's really easy to take them out because they don't do anything. You can hit them in one kill. Alright, sweet. So, <laughs> look at that. Minute and 27 in, we're done. So how's everybody been doing today? Oh man, today it was like the first day at school that it has been below like 60 degrees all day. It sucks. It's so cold. So, of course I didn't enjoy that too much. I actually had to wear sweatshirt and jeans all day. Like this morning it was in the 40s and then it became, I think it, like the high was like 57. So it didn't even break 60. But the this weekend was awesome. Friday it was like 98 out and I went to Michigan for uh, Labor Day weekend and my birthday. And it was so hot and it was the lake was so calm we ended up staying out on it with the jet skis until 8 o'clock. It was so much fun. I was doing 80 on the thing. 80 on the jet ski is the first time I'd ever gotten that fast on it because it was just that smooth. So that was a ton of fun. But besides that, it's just been typical school and then doing this. I got a lot of tests coming up this week. Or like, well, I have a quiz, but then I also have um, a, s a speech outline I have to do. So I have to do an outline on uh, for my speech involving this plane crash that happened back in like 78. So I'm going to do that as my speech topic since it has to be informative. But... Really, besides that, I just had my birthday. It was nice in Michigan until Sunday and Monday, where it got a little cooler. Sunday, we were still in the lake, and there were some mean waves. It was a lot of fun. I got some good boogie boarding in. And then for my birthday, I just got some cool stuff. I got um, Lost. This Lost Season crap. Okay, there we go. Normally, you're supposed to push the tire there. I couldn't believe I didn't get that. So I got the, I got all the seasons of Lost in one with this crazy, like, collection. And I don't know. It's this huge set my girlfriend got me, so that was cool. My sister got me a new Blink-182 t-shirt, which I'm definitely going to wear to the concert, which is actually this weekend. Um, I got a, some money from my aunt and uncle and then my other uncle. What else? Oh, and my parents got me a 3DS with Ocarina of Time. And then, um, like, this accessories kit for the 3DS, so it comes with a case and game holders and all this stuff. Which is really cool, because I actually have one for my DSi, and I like keeping them, you know, in cases so they don't get hurt. <laughs> I'm such a neat freak when it comes to my video game stuff. Wow, that was the first time I actually made that without dying. Normally, right at those bumblebees, I always get hit. Okay. Ah, oh, gosh, this game is just cruel. Oh, sweet, the exit. So what else did I get? Um, let's see, I got the 3DS. Yeah, I haven't played it yet. It's still in the box, literally. Sitting right there. I got the baby blue one, or whatever blue it's called. So that's pretty neat. I want to play it just for Ocarina of Time, because that's all I can play. And then I want to see what the Street Pass stuff is. I don't know what any of it is. But, yeah, so I got that. And I think that was it. Oh, I... Well, not really. Never mind. <laughs> I'm not going to say what I was going to say because it's really irrelevant to pretty much what we're talking about. But, okay, this... What the hell hit me? Oh, there's one up there. Okay, I see. That's what got me. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Not good. 
I need a I need a barrel here, please. Okay, well we got the halfway marker. That's all right. Hit you. Okay, there we go. Now we got a donkey. Yeah, so it's been like it's been kind of a fun week. Um well fun weekend it was. What else happened? Shoot. I'm not sure. Like oh yeah, the boat. We had a big issue with the boat. We had the boat out on a really nice day and then it got rough later on. But since it was so calm when we first took it out, when we anchored it, we anchored it on a sandbar that was maybe four feet deep, but then we started getting two foot waves, so we ended up having the outboards, which it's boating terms for the actual engines. They would hit the ground, the bottom of the, the lake when a big wave would come because it would cause the boat to sink so much since the waves, you know, they cause two feet of water going up and then two feet going down. So that was our first issue, and then we ended up moving it, which was good. And then we took it out for a ride. And then we docked it again, by the, or we were going to anchor it, but we had gone over the line. So when I pulled the line out of the water, it got really, really tight since the boat was over the line. And then next thing you know, we're wrapping up the anchor rope in the engine about six times. And we're getting pushed into shallow water again. And there's a huge ass storm coming across the lake. Which is why we were trying to, we were going to park it, and then my dad and I were going to take the jet seats back while my uncle took the boat back. So, of course, shoot, that always happens. So, of course, you know, that happens, and then I've, it's always my fault. So I untangled the thing, thankfully, and we swam the boat out. I mean, we're talking like a 30-foot boat. It's really cool that 30, three people can pull a 30-foot boat, like, and swim it, you know? With the force of just paddling water, we moved the thing. It was ridiculous. <clears throat> My uncle was getting so nervous. Especially because that storm was approaching as quick as it did the other weekend. But this one wasn't as intense. Because we got in a little earlier. But man, my dad and I were riding those jet skis on like six foot waves. It was so fun. And the harbor was just a mad mess. Everybody was coming in at once. I mean, we were basically... There were like 30 boats coming in at once into the channel, so we were all just basically sitting there, floating, because it was so slow moving. But this was a good experience. I had some major fun riding those waves. It was insane. But yeah, like I said, besides that, you know, the weekend was just relaxing. Good break from school, because now I'm starting to get a lot of the homework back, which, ooh, I hate homework. Especially the stupid speech. I have to. Do, I hate public speaking. It's so pointless. Well, I mean, I can talk when I need to, but like, I'm not. I don't want to purposely waste time writing a speech that really is pointless just for a grade. You know, I'd rather just do it because I need to do it because it's like business purposes or something. I don't want to just do it because I have to for stupid class. I know I'm so negative when it comes to that, but I just hate it. My least favorite class is speech. Holy cow, these things are shooting out big time. <clears throat> yeah, so that was like, whoa, how did he get up there? That one was just like chilling on the roof. That was weird. Yeah, so I have to do that. Ugh. Just be ready for speech in college. Ugh. Not fun. And I'm pretty sure everybody has to take it, because I don't think you can technically test out of speech in college. If I'm correct. Wow, look at that. We're almost like through this place already, and I'm getting text messages. Alright, let's do loopy lights. We might, we might as well try to, you know, beat it. Oh, this one's annoying. These crockies here, or the chompers, they actually jump in the air, right, as you jump. So when you jump, you don't want to move forward. You just want to jump and, like, stay vertically. Just jump straight up. It's the only way to really fake them out. Or so I found. But it's really hard for me to see this level right now. I cannot see anything on my TV screen. Um... Yeah, that's why I was nervous. <clears throat> Just walking off the edge. Oh, I wonder if there's a secret, like, going back in. No. Dang, that'd be cool. Alright. Yeah, the thing is, it's so difficult to see because I have, like, an L with LCD uh, TVs, if you look at them lower than the TV is, it, everything is a little bit darker. So it's like, shit. That's what happens when you get a little overzealous. Yeah, so I have to, like, when I stood up that one day and did my recordings, I could see so much better. It was ridiculous. But besides that, let's get going on here. I'm a little tired today, too, so mine don't... I, I hope no one is, like, 
feeling that I'm super boring today just because my tone is so monotoned. I'm just really tired. I had to get up. What, what time did I get up? I got up at 7 today. I had an 8.30 class, so I was like kind of early. Although tomorrow I have 7.30, so I have to get up at like 6. But this weekend I slept in, so that kind of screwed me up. Of course, you know. Can't ever be... Can't ever work out right. No way. Halfway point already. Awesome. Alright, that guy would fool me a lot during the uh, actual game. Like, when we were playing my practice file. We, like, who's who else? No, just me. No one else was playing. Ah, oh, there's that bird up there. That's what that thing was. I was wondering what was up there, because I kept hitting something whenever I'd, uh pick up that barrel, so I had no idea what that was. Oh, shoot. Dang it. Go, 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 go. I can't see. Oh, there's bees here? That's real cool. Jeez, how am I supposed to do this? Uh, I guess just run. Alright, that's easy, that's easy. Whoa. Oh, no, not cool. Not cool. Oh, dude, I can't believe I got that. I was so nervous I was going to get killed right there. Oh, that's mean. That is mean. Putting that right at the end there. That is so mean. All right, cool. Well, we made it to our save point, so I'm going to quit and uh, well, we'll stop for this recording. And we'll continue off with the rest of this place in the next part. So see you guys.